This harsh for a public park. The kids playing baseball at this park were terrible, my dude. I had to throw a beer at them. Ah, yes. Such an amazing place. If I could give it six stars, I would. The aesthetic of this place was amazing. The way the roaches constantly crawled out from under the pillows at the same time was beautifully choreographed. The random creepy clowns that pop up in the window balcony are amazing, too. Their threats were so realistic. And don't even get me started on the staff. They were so great. Whenever I had problem, they would fix it immediately. For example, the black faucet water, the weird laugh noise in the hallways, those annoying kids, the weird red carpet stains, and even the realistic mannequins floating in the pool. All together, perfect experience, 100% going back next year. If I make it out of the ditch, the staff employee dropped me off at after smacking me around a few times and giving me these weird brownies. Eat the brownies, definitely eat the brownies. Bless it, her math is all wrong. Not knocking their work, I love my nails, but it's the principal. One star only because I couldn't give any. I called ahead before I came, they told me 50% off for my birthday. I got a full set which starts at 33 bucks, plus five dollars for shape, somehow the price came up to 55 dollars, and they charged me 47, which didn't even make sense. I called after I left when I realized I was overcharged. He said he would give me a $10 refund. I should have only had to pay eight dollars, only had to pay 18 dollars, 15% off? He said, wow, wow. Um. Yes, the world has failed, our teaching ability. Chills me to the bone. I really struggled to unscrew the lid. I finally cut the top off with a hacksaw. The refrigerant just shot all over the place when I tried to pour it into the end. You're an idiot. Just unscrew the lid. It's childproof, not adult-proof. Woman claims lack of options leads to gluten death. You have very little choices for gluten-free pee pile. These people need these choices because if they are poisoned with gluten, they could die. My sister almost did. She got a hold of some gluten and ended up you in the hospital. Also, bring back your honey buns and snow tops. I hate all that plain, boring bread. Also, your prices are way too high. We can hardly afford to go b b because of the high prices. What is this person's problem? Are they having a stroke while writing this? I would highly suggest no one leave their pets with this individual. I live on the same street as this man, and he screams uncontrollably nearly every single night and swears when he knows that children are living near. He leaves dogs outside in the cold until they are crying and then still won't let them in. If you love your little puppies, you wouldn't leave them this man because they will 100% come back traumatized. If you don't believe me, look up what happened to Bobo. You are not a client. Are you a dog to watch Bobo for me? Hmm, Bobo is right here. The owner loves me. Stop following my dog around for months my dog is right here when i was in the shower the fire department was called and they let bobo out over a month ago those people are following me around for over a month you follow my dog around for months ago do, do you do you any of you understand i don't understand what this person's saying at all no i'm so confused and the five stars are for i project i was working on suddenly crashed and when i tried opening it again everything was deleted what the hell it's like sony vegas and one time they cost me an entire 13 minute video thanks sony how does a customer know that the other customers gave wrong addresses. <laughs> the food is amazing and also the staff are polite. Don't know what all these negative comments are about. If you didn't put correct addresses or number, how do you expect it to be delivered hot? Fix your problem, then blame the restaurant, dummy. Must have been one hell of a moment. My aunt had an intimate moment out here in 72 that she never stops talking about. Ew. Gross. Me want bathroom, pee pee poo poo. I have not been here, so why I rate this? This is why, 85 views why. Came in, waited about a good 30 minutes, and still waiting in the bubble, was still working with the same person, and there was two more ahead of me. If you had three hours to kill for a cut, this is the place. Dude, you don't know anything about quality haircuts. You like getting five minute haircuts at crappy cuts for five dollars? I take pride in my work. Next time, bring your girlfriend over, and I'll bend her over and shave her. You can bend me over and shave me, daddy. Nathan's face. Famous. I love the hot dogs! Yeah, who cares about fresh donuts if the staff can't live up to my expectations? The donuts were fresh, although the employees didn't speak in a country accent, which I assume they would from the name. Pretty unsatisfied. Country fresh donuts where everyone's from the country. No, we, we speak in normal, normal accents. Call of Duty Mobile Siege. Game socks, really trash. Ooh, and it's snitch as hell. It's snitch, bish, trash, mother froker. Ah, uh, yes, mother froker indeed. The cutest TMI. Came here once to stroll around before going home to watch Nanny McPhee. Was a great time, and Nanny McPhee, Nanny Mc knocked me off my feet. There we go, that works. Never eat a Toro Steakhouse, it ruined my New Year's Eve. Dear customer, do not dine here. We thought this would be a nice meal for New Year's Eve. When we arrived at 7.30, we were told a two hour wait. We waited patiently and checked at 9.30 to see if our table was ready, and we were told that the wait list was not a list, but mere slips of paper with names on them, and they got all mixed up. There were some people who got there at nine, sat at 9.15, and others who came at 5.30 and never got sat down. By some miracle where we sat down at 10.30 only to be 
they changed the menu to have three items to most of my- Shut up. Shut up. Just show up on time. That's it. Just show up on time. That's it. Took my hermit crab here to find him a new home, but as soon as they put him in that cage, I saw cobweb spiders and just many empty shells and dead crab limbs everywhere. It made me so sad, plus there's only like two nice staff there. Empty shells are for the crabs to grow into. Crab legs are from previous sheddings. You should know that land hermit crabs live in the decayed leaf litter on the jungle floor, so a spider web is part of their habitat. You are uneducated about crab keeping and to post your views when you don't know what you're talking about proves this. The non-nice staff member would be me. Look at yourself before you point fingers. What's a grown man keeping a land crab for anyways? You couldn't think of a better pet. I hope you get over your sadness. No, oh, bro. Bro, savage. High plant prices, disappointing in the guppy selection, very teeny neocardian shrimp, but several types, huge selection of types of fish. Dear Amy, sorry we couldn't meet your approval. It's apparent a critical person like you needs to shop elsewhere. Elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Oh, more aquarium. Not a very pleasant staff. Don't get off your meds, Jerry. Watertown Middle School. I hate school. Me too, dude. Me too. Give this school negative review. My son has been shortchanged here yet again. I have told him never to return to this wretched hive of scum and villainy. Oh, is it the school? Dog, it ain't open. Boo hoo. These fake bot reviews are hilarious. When I called to schedule my service, I was Mui, a friendly and lapeuf person. Until oppression carries rough entire job. My locks were ragged and new keys made really quickly and I appreciate communication day of job and how friendly tech was. I am human. Soap, pizza, ranch, and lasur, amen. Soap. It's just soap. This review is for a type racer game or something like that. It's against bots. Chests are rigged. Animations are too basic and repetitive. The game is ad written. You need to watch and add to unlock flags. There isn't even 50% of the world's flags. Username customization isn't censored. No usernames are taken, which means it ain't a line. The kingdom gets really expensive really quick. It doesn't tell you what the average word per blank measurement is. Second or minute. Tell me, please. No ad certification system. The list goes on about this terrible game. Don't play free mobile games. That's just it. Two reviews for a university near me. Here I ascended to the realm of peaches, where every tree is a mere thought in a blank mind. Here is where the fires of metal rain above the peasants bubbles. Across the lake of fame is the best monument of this stateless form I have ever witnessed. And at the bottom of the basement lies the roof. Do not fall, as it will bring only bewilderment. Some rooms are haunted by the foreshadows of Kapala's past, each an epitome of the nature of cosmos. And for the few that pass the trials of cloth, they are rewarded by the never-ending stomp of a carrot. Good school, but uh, too many furries. <laughs> Uh, I love this dog place. Nice cheese, nice smell, nice dog, nice meaty cheese. I love when I eat it and when the cheese pops in my mouth. I'll pop in your mouth, daddy. Found in the reviews of a butterfly conservatory, Rip Harold Jawink. My son had a butterfly land on his nose and die. He now take therapy. This is supposed to be amazing, yet all I got to see is butterfly. My son named Harold Jawink die on his nose. One star never come. They can't control when a butterfly dies, my dude. It blessed him by dying on him. Owner got slammed, hello. Awesome bar and Probably one of the best layouts in Vermilion, but the owner, Chad, is an absolute jack booty. Treats his employees like crap and has terrible attitude. Runs through his employees like fleas and try is that it, it, it treats them as if they are expandable? Type of guy to betray his own mother and cheat on his girlfriend for a business owner. This con man acts with zero professionalism. Dude will host weddings and show up in basketball shorts and a stay in t-shirt screaming at his employees. I can almost guarantee he will reply to this review with some smart jab. Don't give this guy your money, your time, or your business. And who wants to bet this ended up on an episode of Bar Rescue? Visited with my sister to celebrate her birthday. To our horror, we were greeted by a pink mouse. My jaw dropped from the horrific discovery my sister fainted. Not only that, because of one of the staff members' absolute vulgar breath, I had to go to the bathroom to take a breather, but it just smelled the same. It hit so hard, it made my sister faint again! Again! I had to take my poor sister home in a wheelchair. Would not recommend- What are you- wait, wait, where were you? Pink mouse? What is going on? Some random review at Krakato. I went here back in 1883 and really it wasn't the best experience. I left with my eardrums fully gone and I couldn't hear a thing. Really poor customer service. What in the ever-loving Christ happened there? Helped my family after a car wreck and even washed our muddy clothing. Four out of five stars. My family and I were driving through on vacation when we had a car accident. We ended up at a Harlow's muddy dirt and wet. The front attendees, security and manager greeted us warmly and offered us much needed help. The laundry housekeeper, Daphne, offered to wash our muddy clothes and was so friendly. I will never forget all the kind people who work at Harlos. Four stars. Unreviews for a sterling engine. 
<clears throat> Sterling engine, oh really? Let's, um, uh, amusing fun for young and old minds alike to inspire by physics. Someone difficult to assemble the rods with my fat fingers. Careful not to bump it to knock it off. Runs good and looks good. How is this entertainment? It's putting a motor together. I ordered food from you all through Uber Eats. I requested no onions on my chicken wraps. I started eating one and immediately were hit with lots of onions. The taste is so horrid, I'm sick to my stomach and will not be purchasing again. I'm literally nauseous as I write this. Also edited to add the chicken wraps may have had one tender in each wrap. Total waste of money. Yes, ma'am, we responded to you already on Facebook, but wanted to respond to this. Your kitchen ticket and the order on the iPad from Uber both show you select to add onion to your wrap. As onions do not automatically come on the wrap. When you click the box besides onion, it is to add onion. I sent you the picture of the kitchen ticket and the Uber iPad order to confirm your choices. Hopefully, I explain how the choices to add to work for next time. Have a great day. Kid complaining about the game being too hard. Mm. So I was playing MK2 and it was hard on the easy mode so I went to a different MK game that was hard and then MK3 just guessed too hard so I uninstalled the game. So whoever made this needs to either make it better or stop making this because you're a disgrace to the whole MK history and not to mention you are a disgrace in front of my face idiots. Mortal Kombat is just hard, but if you want a hard game, you should play Mega Man like 1 through 10. I was pushing my son's stroller when a man on a golf cart jumped the curb and hit the stroller. Far too many intoxicated elderly on the squares for any family enjoyment in the late afternoons and evening. I would have loved to watch this. I happened to pass by, I saw activity going on there, but I did not stop. Hoping to stop someday, I saw people going and coming from there, hoping all the best and they will continue to serve the community. Hi Jennifer, the activity you saw, it was just us getting ready to be open soon. Hope you can stop by someday and enjoy our delicious fresh and made of order churro. Ooh, churros, you say. I like churros. The owner's response reads like a Nathan for you episode to me. Okay, so the top one is just complaining about too much billing. Let's get to the good part. I do apologize for any inconvenience and dissatisfied living experience you may have had. This never is slash was our intentions. Stated in your signed lease agreement, damages found in the apartment would be charged back to you at a cost multiplied by 1.5 and identified Poo Prince program. Pet waste carries a fee violation. Unfortunately, the pet damage to Discovered is not considered normal wear and tear, and the DNA testing identified your animal. In regards to your maintenance concerns, I pulled your maintenance request history and reviewed all requests were completed within 48 hours request. As stated in previous conversations, if you wish to dispute any charges, need a copy of your lease agreement, or want to discuss further maintenance requests, you may reach out to our rental office or submit a letter to our corporate office. We thank you again for being our resident and wish you luck in future endeavors. Bro, my one friend worked on the Nathan For You TV show as a uh, PA, and uh, they'll first episode that you can see him in and the only episode is the one where they like build the like <laughs> the like not safe for work uh filming location kids kids thing yeah he, he's one of the pas in that it's the owner's response that got me lmao shots fired actually one of the worst pizzas i have ever had to this point i think this is just a money laundering scheme edit bro just make better food it's not that serious update now selling three thousand pizzas a week it's not us it's you hey everyone look this guy who panic express a five-star review didn't like our pizza Color me shocked. Judging by your countless five-star reviews and the fact that we're selling over 2,000 pizzas a week, you definitely just have an uncultured palate and are used to over-processed trash. Don't be mad at us with that fresh ingredients and detail execution flew over your head. Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. My high school and a strict dress code. Oh boy. Translated by Google. Raising my arms, my sweater stood up and showed one centimeter of stomach and the supervisor saw me and dragged me to the basement to beat me with her belt. Yay! This might be true. Flower shop and nail pencil turning people straight. Owner is so unbelievably unprofessional and is known for harassing and threatening customers. This kind of personal shouldn't be handling business. Sorry, uh, Chris, Chris, Clarissa? I do my best, but your wife refused the flower. She went back to her husband and she said, I tried to do my best, but I guess she went back to be straight after she meet with me with the flowers. We appreciate your what the ever loving Christ are you saying? Tell me why my milkshake sent my nan into cardiac arrest because there was tomatoes and jalapenos in my milkshake and the chips were raw. So I suggest you get the fucking cooker going. A review for a Cassell box on the Play Store. 
You know what, Omni Studios? Madden Playground was better than your game. Noob, also, People Playground was better than your game. Ultra Noob, poop emoji, haha, <laughs> fire. He want to play with four friends. This game is the best I play this game with brothers and friends. Why no five player? I want to play with my friends, Johnny, Freddy, Teddy, Simpson, and Don. It's, it's nice, so nice, not having all the games. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is one of those, Bill. <clears throat> Please pay attention to his one-star views and have a quick look at his five star they're all seemingly written the same he's filling up his google reviews with fake account reviews of friends and family etc anytime someone has a negative comment it just happens that they are dis a disgruntled neighbor how many disgruntled neighbors does this man have i've seen this man out in public screaming at retail store associates or even customers unlucky enough to pass by luckily he's got his business logo on his vehicle so now anyone who's been involved knows not to use his dog sitting service i'm sure he will comment on my review and say i should stop eating animals because he doesn't what? Okay, I'm moving on. I, the second I get to eating animals, I'm just moving on, dude. This antique store uh, caught a stray from David K. <clears throat> really small portion of salmon for the price. It was good, but kind of a rip up, bro. It's, a, it's an antique store. There's a piece of plywood on the sidewalk that says whole. Yep, just just piece of plywood that says whole. If Swaggy 800 Poopy Face isn't happy, then nobody is. <laughs> no chicken, Swaggy Poop Face. No, bro. Who names their dog this? Very clean and perfect location. We took our puppy. Nope. I'm gonna try and pronounce it. Upside down question mark A for a walk and found somebody. Good. <laughs> what are you? What is wrong with you? Vint in to inquire about rentals during our conversation. Kept leaning to the side of the chair and trying to quietly fart. Yeah, I could hear and smell it. Bring a mask. Staff have no manners. For Pete's sake, excuse yourself to the restroom in the future and take care of your bodily gases. I was blown away. So gross. I'll be looking elsewhere. <laughs> blown away. Hot waitress. But when I came back, she didn't even know who I was, which really sucked. Five stars. This is what I imagine ribs in the Chinese prison tastes like. Everything on my plate was served colder than room temperature and the brisket and ribs both taste like they have been sitting in tuna water. First and last time eating here. The thought of this place makes me sick. All the sauces on my table were watery like my eyes when I realized I paid $17 to eat a piece of cornbread. Does anyone remember what uh, PUBG lobbies were like when the game first came out? That's what it feels like to go to Costco. Yeah, yeah, it kind of does. This place is very amazing, but this place is military base of USA and Britain. Yes, mm-hmm. I didn't go to Taco Bell. I went to Chase Dreb through, which is next to Taco Bell. I'm sure he meant drive through. Sunnybrook Farm. As a Rebecca, this place means a lot to me because I am a horse girl. I always face and respectful, and they got two or three real hot vibes. I would love to kill an owl with cheap gas. This place got everything. Hi, John. We appreciate your feedback, and I passed on to our manager at our local Team. Thank you for choosing Circle K. Why'd you only give it three stars if it was great? My husband and I are separating because of this office. He is a patient there, a hygienist there I don't want to publicly take names with, started flirting with him and making advances. They even exchanged numbers and started meeting out for dinner. I caught them red-handed and now we are separating. I am planning to drag them to court. This is not the foyer time I heard something like this happen in this office. Stay away from here and keep your family away too. Shouldn't you give your husband, or sorry, ex-husband a bad review? Slow line, soggy fries, my chicken sandwich was rock hot on the outside and chewy on the inside. I usually nut my pants when I bite into a CFA sandwich for the first time. Unfortunately, this time, that was not the case. I bit into my sandwich and gagged it out onto my lap due to how foul it was. I feel disrespected, dehumanized to an extent. I was completely bamboozled. I've only been to this location once and it was my first ever negative experience with a CFA. Ever! Worst food in town by far. Black curry sauce, <laughs> awful pizza, chicken drier than Gandhi's flip-flops, yes it ice chips. Jesus Christ himself couldn't have cooked up a better feed in the desert. All the girls here smell like cheese, yes, cheese. Like they were all rolling in it. Thick and yellow, cheap government cheese, and one of them is tall and manlike. She smelt the most like cheese and cheese byproduct. You're a pretty cute girl across the street. <laughs> Amazing game. This game has changed my life. When I first downloaded this game, I thought I was a clone of Geometry Dash. I found out it is much more. After 16 hours of nonstop fun, I can say this is the best game ever made. This game cured my cancer. It solved my parents' marriage. It is the reason I get up in the morning. This game is God's gift to the world. This game has made my life infinitely better every time I completed a level. I cried tears of joy. Five stars. Best game ever made. I'm sure that's completely legit and not fake. Incompetent FOH staff. And a gutless man with a small pen. 
Keyboard Warrior, go get a life. And if you're game enough to come and face me and speak about my staff like that, and I will show you how competent I am. This is a great place to go if you want to see the Avengers. The whole security team think they're superheroes. Please go anywhere else, but here, personally, I recommend Finnegan's. We had a cockroach. We named him Johnny in our room. Hope he's doing fine. Johnny was pretty cool, even though he uh, didn't help with the rent. I don't eat seafood often, but when I do, it is with the homeless camp outside of blank. I ended up sharing a bowl of clam chowder with a gentleman that smelled worse than the lobster on my plate, which I thought was impossible. Either way, the food would have been better if it were cooked on the sidewalk with a magnifying glass on the hottest day of the year. I once cooked an egg on the sidewalk in uh, Arizona. I didn't eat it. I just want to see if I could do it. Great place, eh? The food is amazing, wonderful, and full of flavor. If I could, I would never leave. Never leave, unlike my ex-wife, Sharon. Sharon, if you're reading this, please come back. Oh god, I miss my ex-wife. I want my family back. This food doesn't fill the void anymore. I don't have hair, so I don't go here. Selection could be a little better, but the jelly donuts are really good. Better than last night with your mother, and that was a good time. Wow, I guess your mom was only a three-star. Actually, surprise! This place maintains breakfast all day! Hmm... Phil. Hey, yo, Phil, you looking handsome, dude. I booked a reservation to celebrate a hard day's work violating human rights. The hostess was very accommodating as a regular. Ordered my steak rare for foldability, as this is an excellent spot to boof your steak and beer dinner. Service was spot on as usual. However, this visit proved to be slightly cumbersome, as my favorite steakhouse is getting too popular, and the line out the front actually blocked my normal exit number five. Stars from the steak in my butt, but one star for no privacy in this public restaurant. Nice little gas station in kind of a weird spot, but it's clean and the employees and us. Reasonable snack slash drink selection inside. Pig. Dude, he's saying you, you had a good restaurant. What, uh, I mean, gas station. What are you doing? We always find interesting items and deals here. Staff seems friendly enough. I recall about 18 years ago while we were at the register, this girl came in the store and asked the lady behind the counter if they had a drinking fountain. She said no, but handed her a half-finished bottle of Diet Coke instead. And to my amazement, she drank from it. One of those rare memories I'll always cherish. In my mind was screaming, don't do it. As I stood there in shock and disbelief. Can't fault the lady for being kind to a stranger, but it also, it was really gross of the stranger to drink that. So, uh, I stayed here for a few days while visiting St. Paul. The rooms were exceptionally small, and I had to share with another person. The beds were horrible, and I did not sleep well at all. The other guests treated me terribly and made me feel like a girl. The continental breakfast was the worst I've had along with other meals offered. I requested an early checkout and had to stay two more days. Will not be staying here again. I'm totally in love with the waitress. Creep shot of the waitress, I think. <laughs> Ew. Not many people know Big Ben is actually the name of a giant mouse that lives behind the clock face. He enjoys lobsters dinners and harbro. With a wire wit and contemporary style, he's a ladies mouse. If you look closely, you might see the corner of his kimono floating in the wind as he watches you. Sounds like a superhero. Warning, beware of Betsy. She stole from me and now I am angry. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the items you purchase here were also stolen. Betsy, answer my calls. I do not see much doctors whole year, so most of the time I only go to see yearly checkup. When I went to him yearly checkup, he was checking my penis and balls. I told him there is nothing wrong with it, but he just kept playing with them. I mean, I liked it, but also I didn't. The Home Depot. Where's the beef? Taco was three full of lettuce. They poisoned me drink. I gave them three stars. Alex, I believe you have reviewed the wrong company as we are in the traffic engineering industry and we do not serve drinks. If someone somewhere really did poison your drink, I hope you have called the authorities and that you are okay. Brendan. Friendly atmosphere. Them women are so down to earth. They helped me and my daughter with all the questions about the foods and even gave us advice on dishes. The restaurant is clean and cozy and the aroma ah, have mercy. So inviting and the African music is awesome too. I felt like I stepped to in beautiful Africa. The only issue that I had was stepping back outside the restaurant Put me back in Phoenix, lol. Thanks for supporting business. We appreciate your business. Place is full of fatty women. Very few actually thin, good-looking women. The one bouncer is so fat when he walks down the walkway, his gut gets in the way and bumps you. I would never go back to this place. Like most establishments in Kitchener, this is one is horrible. I feel like this is a strip club for, uh, with, with, with heavier set women, and the guy went to the wrong one. Some said Nino cries at night because of this place, and poor Abuela, uh, Abuela, ab Spanish word for grandma, is in the grave now because this place exists. They don't have children as a top in which sucks. Thank you everyone. 
Thank you for confusing everybody. Mayo Clinic Hospital. I just picked someone up at the door. It's a pretty good time. Hate this place with a passion. It's passion, Josh. Use spell check. In 1983, I had such a horrible experience with a pizza franchise that I swore to never eat there again. It is not 2022, and I have not, nor will I ever knowingly eat a thing from this franchise. So why are you even reviewing without giving the juicy details? I have never been there, but hey, why not let a good review stand? Very nice view of the water, but the staff yelled at me when they saw I was in the indoor pool. While I was sleeping in the room with my girlfriend, we saw its manager looking out the window at us. When we left the next day, the manager got us to clean the bathroom and the plates. That dude, that dude is just like staring at you. I wouldn't go here. We live in the year 2022. How have we not developed some kind of system to ensure people are served hot and fresh fries? This tastes like fries my roommate left out for a couple of hours after half drunkenly throwing said fries on a pan and into the oven. No seasoning. At least the restaurant was clean. Okay, but too far. I wish this place was one minute away. Ah, dogs, 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 dogs. Money sign, please, please, please. Doggy, doggy, Enid. Too far, 12. We were where, wait? I feel like this was uh, text-to-speech by accident. Potato soup was very bland. Brown gravy was too salty. Meatloaf was pack-heavy and bland. Waitress was extremely friendly. Good morning, Penny. We appreciate your feedback. Our meatloaf is one of our most popular dishes for almost 35 years. My apologies. You don't care for grandma's recipe. Ooh, taking the grandma shots. I don't like cheese. My mom and I ordered a special New Year's meal, which was delivered by Huggy. Some of our order was wrong, but Huggy went right back to the restaurant and brought brought the correct food. When he arrived the second time after getting lost, he had unfortunately dropped four teas in the driveway. Without question, Huggy went to the grocery store and brought back four large containers of sweet tea. Huggy is an inspiring essential worker in these times. Outback probably didn't know how special this guy was when they hired him. Overall, this guy deserves a raise. Huggy gets five stars from me. Hey, yo, as someone who used to work at establishment, sorry, I kicked my mic stand, but uh, mentioning our name actually does help us out a lot. Also, I didn't know Huggy Wuggy from Poppy's Playtime worked at this? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that was a bad joke. I can count on my hand how many times I have been here, and that's seven. Wow, I see what you did there. <laughs> on knees, dear lord, please find a way to convince the local authorities to invest in the refurbishment of this facility. Concrete was never a particularly attractive material, but now gives this place a Soviet-era vibe. Thank you, oh lord. It's a leisure center. Why does it look like a Soviet center? My snake and I were expelled from the vicinity after attempting to recruit death stalkers. I don't understand. I wasn't there. I was across the street at the convenience store, so two stars. This is one of those experiences which on paper seems like one of the best ideas humans have ever had. The reality is different. The cats are bored of us. They will do whatever they want. That means sleeping. This is just a very awkward room of people trying to tease belligerent animals into action. They don't care. If you like cats and don't have one, go to a friend's house. If you want a drink, go to a coffee shop. It will be cheaper. Awesome karaoke on Tuesday and Saturday's grown and sexy atmosphere vibe. Eyelash came off same day. Once I took a shower, they fell off my face. Not first pair. I also do eyelashes poorly done. It was the holiday weekend, had family from out of town, no time to go back. We are a bar and grill, not an eyelash company. Golden Dragon LLC. I liked it, so I shared my photo. Ding 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 is not an acceptable response to a five-star review. I have been going to D&B since 1992. I had not been in over a year due to the fact that I am 50 now and my kids are grown. But I went there on Monday afternoon. After finding out, my father passed away that morning to get away from everyone and left a great review. Till I saw this response. I own a business and would never leave a response like that, no matter what the circumstances were. Ding Ding Ding! Good dumplings, but you want to charge me $12.80 for six tiny shoe my girl? Shubai. So, uh, I came here to buy some Sour Patch Kids with my pregnant craving wife, and how bad my luck here that there was a pile of boxes in the way preventing me from getting to the Sour Patch Kids. Why? No one was there to remove them. They're just piles of boxes. I love the waitress, but she doesn't even know I'm alive. Story of your life, bucko. They have the doors locked. If you're a door dasher, you're waiting until someone appears in the back of the kitchen just to let them know you are there for an order. They don't have anyone posted near or even looking at the door, so it could be a waste of time. We're very sorry about this experience. Flabachinzi is sequenced titties. We truly appreciate your feedback and we'll make sure this is addressed with our team. Thank you. Did he say sequenced titties? All right, then. I don't know what that is. One out of five stars blocks my view of the Dallas. The, 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 the Dallas? Dal Dallas? Real estate agent said it'd be another 100 million years or more till I get my view back. I'm out of patience. One out of five stars saw a blonde teenager doing the middle finger at a water bottle and was being very rude to me. Wait, are you or the water bottle? Also, is that really all it takes to rate the One World Trade Center one star? 
Review of Guantanamo Bay Detention Camp. Five out of five stars. Rooms are a bit small, but staff always willing to make your stay as comfortable as possible. They come first thing in the morning with a bucket of water to wash your face, but the only compliment about that is the cloth they put on your face when pouring the water over, and they always insist on holding my arms. Meals are made from the best chefs. Not much on the menu, but everything is served in the chef's special sauce. Staff never wants you to go. Five star accommodation. 5 out of 5 stars. Easy of use. Perhaps do away with the ads. 1 out of 5 stars. Haven't used it yet. 5 out of 5 stars. Tell me more, do more, let's do life and heaven help me to get to my mom and kids. The royalty is there with the unlimited time inside and out and no set timing on my life. Other same way. Boomed. Move it to now. Boom. Now mother, can you hear me? Eddie Lucero. You lost them for good. I always have done it right. I don't hear from Cody or any of them as heads. Great concern as the communication on spirit world life. Life and in the love of, and marriage, my family is still I located as the cross in the overall time my names. Five out of five stars makes things so easy. Five out of five, best jingle. The owner is a total babe. Did I mention how good the jingle is? Vintage logo, can't beat it. Also, how good is it getting served ice creams by a total babe? Yeah, the decor is dated, but it's cute. 80s, 90s cute. Owner is a babe. Would totally return A++++++++. One out of five stars. I never liked the idea of they charging gratitude without your choice. Shrimps was Ben's and the food don't much the prices. We regret going there. I feel they are exploiting people to make money. We will go there again. Five out of five stars. Sushi was raw and daughter got mad. I don't know what her problem is. We eat raw crawdads at home all the time. So we asked our waiter to microwave or cook our salmon sushi thing and they agreed to, but they looked a little confused. When it came back, it was steaming and the fish was bubbling as if it was alive in the water. Daughter ate one and said it tastes better cold. So we just tipped the ice out of our drinks and set the sushis on the ice to cool. Overall, great experience. Would eat here again. Three out of five stars, good prices, some nice people. Just don't go at night or some old blonde lady will talk to you to death. Builds up a line of 10 people before one of the lazy night workers, usually the other blonde fat chick, the trailer park looking one, decides to help. One out of five stars. Once when I was in third grade, our class teacher hit a boy who was talking with a wooden scale. The scale broke. That is how hard she hit him. Then she asked for money because it was his fault that the wooden ruler broke. That kid could have sued the entire school. Thank you so much for sharing. Five out of five stars. Have you ever had a server so bum, so attentive that you felt like you were being catered by the angels from heaven themselves? Well, look no further than here. Jesse W. Remember that name. Jesse W. O. Charlie should honestly consider changing the name to O. Jesse's. She carries the store on her back. Like she marched into the gates of heaven and stared God right in the eyes and said, I am Jesse, hear me serve. Fastest lemon cutter on this side of the Mississippi River. Three out of five stars. My dearest, if you are reading this, it means that I have died of dysentery while waiting for an associate to open the glass cabinet, which keeps me from the singular pack of undergarments that I wished to purchase. Gone are the days of free range undies. Oh, how I long to see them roam free one more. Remember me fondly. Your love, a man who just wanted underwear. One out of five stars, these guys were hired to level my double wide out on Country Road in Rapid City. It's so off that the patio door on the north side of the house doesn't open. When I cook eggs on the stove, they all run to one side of the pan. They said they would return to fix prob, but never did. Guess we shouldn't have paid them till job was done right. I am forced to not recommend this business to anyone until the job is finished. I apologize, but when did we come out and what was the employee's names? And what was the name on the receipt? I don't have your name anywhere in my information, nor have we received any calls, texts, or emails about fixing a job. Also, we do not operate our company as such and make sure our job is done correctly and our customers are satisfied. We also discuss any issues that can arise and make sure our customers have knowledge of anything going on. Five out of five stars. Overall, Grey Cliff is a beautiful, quintessential, historic Bahamian hotel, so do not hesitate to go. That said, we went for afternoon tea, and I have some comments for the chef. One, Earl Grey tea should always be an option. Two, bread used to make sandwiches should fresh, paper thin, with all crust removed. Three, cucumber sandwiches should have a thin layer of mayonnaise with a light sprinkle of salt. Four, large scones should be on the plate. Five, lemon curd should be on the table. I'm sorry that your your very specific personal preferences were not met, Nancy. 
One out of five stars. My wife went to Nobu a few days ago. After she came home, she shared her observations with me. Overall, she said that it was top-notch only in price. Everything else was subpar. The food wasn't great, the service wasn't great, the location wasn't great. Houston was some truly stellar Asian restaurants and some truly outstanding sushi places. This one can be skipped. 2 out of 5 stars. Stephanie is absolutely fantastic. I was a bit gun shy as I had two bad experiences back to back with stylist. A friend of mine had just went and had her hair done by Stephanie and it looked great so I got her information and called and made an appointment. I was amazed at the friendliness of Stephanie and the rest of the staff there. She took time, probably 20 minutes talking to me and getting an understanding of what I was looking for. The final result was amazing. She did such a great job and I will be back to visit her when I need a touch up. Thank you Stephanie. So, this sounded like a, a great experience. Why only two stars? Two out of five stars. Beautiful scenery and great downtown setup, but we had moral conflicts with most of the shops displaying satanic, Buddhist, Hindu, and LGBT relics. We recognize that people have the right to display what they want in their stores, but we choose not to support those businesses. There are some great shops that we didn't have any moral conflict with, but they were few and far between. Personally for us, we won't be back. <laughs> One out of five stars. Boost Mobile is trash because because one time I went there for a replacement Samsung Galaxy S21 FE because the original one randomly stopped working. I asked very nicely for a replacement and they just left the store and they also locked the door when I was inside. I had to call for help but when they finally came they unlocked the door and I was thrown onto the ground and was hit in the head with the back of a gun by a cop and he did it all over my body and he broke my right leg and my left arm. I don't recommend Boost Mobile. One out of five stars. Food is terrible. They would not let me in without interrogation. The wait time ridiculous. No one apologized about the smell. Could not hear the music. Customers need to be more attractive wait you you had a problem with the customers so you're 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 taking points off the the businesses review uh, uh, all right all right buddy sorry business i just don't want to f the customers at your restaurant enough five out of five stars this is my island i spent the night there we cooked on the beach and got drunk I threw up and took a dump by the palm tree that is farthest east on the atoll. My bowel movement still remains buried there, but I think the seagulls ate all the vomit. All this is far more than anyone from France or Mexico can claim to have done over the last decade. It needs to be renamed the Isle of Joe. 5 out of 5 stars, this game saved my life. I was being stalked by a weird guy and when he finally approached me yelling, open your bag and give me all your money, he also noticed my phone, which I used to play this game. He stared at the cute little pew and all of a sudden he dropped the gun, made terrified kangaroo noises, and then run away. And also I got a free gun which I sold for $20.99. Now I'm rich and alive thanks to the game. One out of five stars. Love the town and the many different businesses in it. Passion play is awesome. The mayor needs more passion play in his life. Jesus was born and died for our sins. And he needs to understand that especially being the so-called leader of a city built around the principles of God just as our nation. Shame on you, mayor. Shame, shame, shame on you. Five out of five stars. Jessica, please come back. I miss you. I loved you. Life isn't the same without you. Child support. One out of five stars. Are we going to ignore that the main image is a horrible Photoshop of what the final building would look like with the jail cropped out? This is not a review of the courthouse, only of the image somebody loaded onto Google. Posting a review of the courthouse is like placing a big stamp on your forehead asking for an official to look you up, because they will, on social media and find incriminating stuff about you. Food for thought. Five out of five stars, I was sent here to get a head transplant, but no doctors could help, so let me keep my head. So happy. Five out of five stars, quick, to the point, and very patient. I did not feel condescended to, unlike most dentist's offices. Yeah, I hate getting condescended to at the dentist. Happens every time. Five out of five stars, Richard made our pies. The delicate but generous spooning of sauce provided the perfect best supporting actor to our toppings, which were extra cheese and thinly sliced artisan pepperoni, a culmination of Richard's talent with all the aforementioned ingredients developed into a Grammy award-winning pie of epic proportions. Domino's, take heed. Richard is your man. He's your Johnny Depp or Uma Thurman. Thurman, I don't know and I don't care. Your house of well-placed cards and decent prices all fall apart if you let them slip from your grasp. Do the right thing, Domino's. I caution you to be the Spielberg or George Lucas or Tarantino. Understand the level of talent you've got. Appreciate it and do all you can to retain it.
One out of five stars, awful, nearly fell down the stairs. Response from the owner, plenty of signs on the door. Not my fault you're an idiot with no brain. There are plenty of signs on the door in bright yellow signs. Three out of five stars, a really nice store, well stocked. However, the manager is a bit rude. Quote unquote, not to film. Really, it's the First Amendment. And they left a very boring response. One out of five stars. Went to get donuts with my kid and got in line behind someone from this church. They proceeded to buy every last donut the place had right in front of us. They said if we wanted a donut, we could go to church. So I will be avoiding blank church and blank donut in the future. Three out of five stars. It's very pleasant, but is just a pond. One out of five stars. This school gave me vaginal warts and I'm a guy. Five out of five stars. It was great. Sucks they're going to close it soon. Thank you for the positive rating. We have no plans of closing this location. Come back and shop with us again. Five out of five stars. My first time was with Rita and I will never forget the experience with her. Great service and very friendly. Thanks, Rita. I will definitely come back for you. Two out of five stars. Sonya injected me with euthanasia and stole my fillings and prosthetic leg. Would not recommend. Five out of five stars. Coco is very nice. One out of five stars. It's going to suck for me if this reactor leaks. I live in Titsuville, Florida, and the wind usually blows from that direction. Review of a theme park. One out of five stars. It didn't open 24 hours. What theme park is open 24 hours, man? Two out of five stars. First timer, order the clucker sandwich. They forgot the Miracle Whip and gave me a little thing of cranberry sauce for a huge piece of dried chicken on a thick roll. Disappointing. Two stars because black owned? What the hell, man? One out of five stars. Closing soon. Store is too far from remaining locations, making shipping inefficient. Lol, while they are still open, Ed is going to close all the stores soon. The two flagship stores in Des Plaines, Illinois, and NYC just closed. The rest will follow soon. Response from the owner. Thank you for your review. We are happy to inform you this location is doing well. We appreciate your concerns. Three out of five stars. Apologies. I did leave a review, but apparently it didn't upload. I ordered the BLT because it really sounded good. Yes, it had a lot of bacon, which was wonderful, but the lettuce and tomato did not rise up to the bacon. The lettuce was wilted and the two slices of tomato were very thin. I honestly expected a sandwich that would knock my socks off, but what I got just made me say, I paid how much for this. Thanks for your detailed review. We apologize that our veggies on our bacon sandwich didn't meet your standards. Most people do not order a BLT to critique the lettuce or tomato. May we suggest our veggie burger next time? That may be more to your liking. One out of five stars. I hate this extension. It made my fish drown, bro. Rate one star. One out of five stars. It's good. One out of five stars. I didn't visit. One out of five stars, the parts counter clerk kept staring at my zipper area. I felt like I needed another shower afterwards. He just kept licking his lips with his eyes rolled back in his head. He looked like a great white shark. Hi Mark, we'd love to know why you didn't have a great experience with us. Can you please email me at... <laughs> we, we read your review about uh, the guy staring at your crotch, but... You know, we, 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 we just don't like to know more information. One out of five stars, nasty, nasty food, and they don't do refund for the nasty, disgusting food they sell. I literally had to call the police over this nasty food. One out of five stars, terrible service. I waited two hours to be seated and ended up just serving myself. The soup tasted bland and watery and the fish was so raw it was practically swimming. Pretty cold in the water because it's not a heated lake, but too hot above the water in the summer. Can you install air conditioning? It feels like this guy just watches nothing but like cooking shows where people are, you know, on a high horse rating food and or reviewing food rather. And these guys are just, yeah, they, they, they're so bored. They have to write something like this. Shit. One out of five stars. Well, I downloaded this app and it turned out to be nothing. And then I pressed one of the buttons and some guys dancing with music that didn't sound too good. And so I turned that down and then it switched back over and it said rate us at a five and it wouldn't let me touch anything. But that I touched a few things around that and I found where I could get into rate that this app. So yeah, that app is really a waste of time. I'm going to remove it now. Thank you, Kenneth. Four out of five stars. Great place to let your dog out and get some extra size. Some some extra size of what? One out of five stars, everything was perfect. Beautiful beaches, clean sea, wonderful mountains, great atmosphere. I've been coming back here every year for 20 years, but this year, on the last day, 20 minutes after midnight, I wanted to eat pizza in Valaputsu, and no place was open, not even takeout. One out of 10. So everything was perfect, but 
you got the clean beach, the wonderful mountains, the great atmosphere, but you couldn't eat pizza at midnight. Maybe you should have gotten one earlier and waited for fucking midnight. God damn it. Or you could just be a normal person and eat pizza whenever you want or at midnight at home. Whatever. Pretty good. The buffalo doesn't taste much like buffalo, but otherwise fine. Don't get your wings smoked if you don't like smoky flavor. Really? You don't say. You don't say. If I don't like smoky flavor, don't smoke them. Owner of a hotel has very interesting replies. The hotel clearly is not three stars at most two stars. Ruined plaster in the room. Broken wardrobe. Non-controllable air conditioning in the room. But centralized dirty bed spread. In addition, the bathroom consists of roaches. Your unhappiness does not arise from life situations, but from the conditioning of your mind. Well, he really told him. Some bring happiness wherever they go, others when they leave. You bring no joy. Excellent location for both the beach and center. Good breakfast. Cleaning, no. In a week, they never change sheets. The bathroom, well, to go to the toilet or sink, it had a bunch of roaches in it. Don't let disappointment give way to sadness. Collect your story with all your strength and transform it and beautiful memories. The only ones you deserve. Beautiful, beautiful memories. Best place to lick bus windows. Ten out of... Ten. I went in the store, and right when I walked in, they just hit me over the head with a metal bat and set me on fire. No, no they didn't. You're making that up, but okay. Ugh, my mom almost passed out, and I'm not surprised. The burger was warm, but the cabbage inside, red cabbage, was like from Alaska. We will never go there again. Frick, but at least the service was good, but the food just bleh. We're sorry for the misunderstanding, but it's not red cabbage, but onion marmalade. The so-called chutney, it's served cold. It's like you want to warm tata or potato. I don't know. Just shut up. Seriously. They don't have enough Fortnite class in colleges these days. Lack of Fortnite colleges. I'm just saying, man, I want to know how to get a number one Victoria Royale Fortnite. It's about to go down. Bell Tower on college campus. Not very loud. Not very loud, Zach. Waiting for the Bell Tower versus Holland Hall movie. <laughs> loud. So, uh, when did they turn the waterfalls on at Yosemite National Park? The park had turned several waterfalls off for the season, and the main ones was turned down. Solo, it was barely working. Why do this in summer when the parks are bussiest. Yes, bussiest. More like bussiest. Almost died here twice. Not a big fan. Three times would have been a big fan. Turo Rio's last for the otherwise boring pond that not many people know about near my house. Nice swans. It's tricky to get to. You have to leap over a fence, but there is no barbed wire, so I survived. Nearby, there is a humongous horse, bigger than normal horses, with five legs. Ooh, fifth leg, you say. I came here in search of the freakishly large horses I'd read about on other review, and I have to say I was not disappointed. To be honest, to be honest, I did not actually see the horses, but I sensed their mystic presence, and it was deep inside me. When I reached the pond, I felt drawn to its tranquility and calm. So drawn, in fact, that I wandered in. It was deep, too, but in a different way to the horses. Overall, I would recommend a visit, especially if you are in Scotland, TBH2. Uh, I probably won't visit Scotland from another city just to visit this place, but definitely worth a visit if you were here anyways. Ah. The five-legged horse pond. Come here. Unless you say, you're gonna be filled with fear. I wouldn't have even added a star, but I had to post this. My eight-year-old could run this place better. Absolutely disgusting. I wouldn't take my dog into this place, let alone my children. Dear Blank, we are very sorry that your daughter was not suitable for a position at our play center. We hope that she finds suitable role elsewhere and wish you family all the best. The new Whataburger in my area. Look at the burger patty when you get your burger. It looks fake and probably made with some many cancer-causing ingredients. Believe it or not, they are rocks painted to look like fish. Whoa, they really are? I knew it! The aquarium's been lying the whole time! I'm on to you, big aquarium. Staff wasn't friendly, couldn't swim, they said. Blood Lake testing site. Yeah, maybe don't swim there. She's just trying to help. Do you carry name brand glasses? I don't personally, but the optical does. The behavior of owner is a holy sit I like no more. Yes, a holy sit. Ah, he sits so well. Too cold the common steel water stuck in there for two weeks got frostbite no place to sleep local people not friendly they tell us to get out or else they send the bear the bear is a mysterious creature it haunts us what are you talking about every review of the Weldon guy in elevators in tf2 related yeah well i'm not reading that what's that use the scout voice you got it me and my friends with 11 phds went there and we built sentries and dispensers and teleporters and bada bing bada boom i used a bat don't waste your money at this dump the manager is useless lets his employees talk Talk to customers however they want. Employees try to fight customers. Ghettos 
and gross. We're sorry to hear you didn't have a great experience with our city name team name. <laughs> you should expect nothing less than the incredible service. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see. It was a, it was a fake response. They didn't even have pie at the free pie festival. What the fuck, dude? I'm sorry, I had to say the F word. I'm sorry, you two, but it, there's no pie. I remember getting a blistering sunburn going there. It was so bad, the blisters were like an inch long, and it constantly burned. There are scars on my shoulders to this day. Nice place to camp, though. Lots of poison ivy. Review of a restaurant in Italy and reply. The only point in favor of the place, the pizza, quite good, rude, and implied staff, not suitable for families and children. The evening was just an unpleasant experience, with the dining room staff inciting other customers against the children, even with insults. Since reality had turned out to be a bloodthirsty tyrant, I sought refuge in a fantasy. Hey, yo, dearest, I'm sorry you resented being called back to your role as parents and educators, but writing false things won't help you improve. We host many families with children, and when parents are present, not just physically, it is a real pleasure for us. Thanks for the compliments on the pizza, though. Control your little monsters. Very good lounge, but can't control the idiot users. When my wife put down the drink and just turned to get the food passenger, rushed to take the seat unreasonably and asked the waiter to take away the brand new undrink drink. Respect women please. Instead of my wife, I sat in front of him to see what he was going to do and kicked the feet in front of you during the meal, which is a really good judgment. I mean, what is that, an airport lounge? I mean, man, what a jerk. He's just a jerk off. Dino T-Rex! Very happy to play with me and my friends and family. It is an interesting game for people. Please download it. But only got one star. It's because it's not super Dino T-Rex game. Erm, um, what? They had Boo in the shank and more importantly, they gave me hemorrhoids. Awful place. How did they give you hemorrhoids? That's what I want to know. Hi, Jeanette. Nelly, I don't know how you spell it, but I sit right next to you October 15th. Thanks, Shadow Man. This is for your best employee. I put it back in the store. She will soon have babies. It's a scary employee. Walmart Supercenter. I had a terrifying experience. Maintenance came in the bathroom unannounced while I was in there. They kept coming to the door of my stall and looking at me through the hole. They even stopped other things from coming in. I acted like I called the police to get out safely. What the actual F is Walmart doing? I'm just gonna go ahead and bet this one is uh, from a Karen, so... This was possibly the worst experience of my life. It was empty but crowded. It was lively but lifeless. It was overwhelming but boring. It was cold but hot. It was exhausting yet timid. It was a nightmare but dreamy. It was a painful but painless experience. It was expensive. All the middle-aged moms were in the wine aisles and not in a good way. We were in there for 45 minutes looking for biscotti, tajin, eggs, and chocolate chips. The organization and staffing is so bad that a random dude told us that the tajin was near some random fruit and it was. It was so out of place that I was confident he had told me that to, to get to an aisle of the store to himself. What the hell are you talking about? I wrote this on the way home from my own personal hell. Will I return? That will be decided. My standpoint will stay for the time being. Thank you for not going to Kroger and looking at reviews instead. You're welcome. Now you're on the internet video. Do you feel good about yourself? These cars are too expensive. The staff wouldn't even take me serious after I told them I'm looking for a car no more than 3500 Even if I trade in my 2007 Honda Fit, one of them left. Then I was given attitude for something as minor as walking around with muddy shoes. After all they put me through, they wouldn't even give me a ride home. Anyways, all they have are Lamborghinis. <laughs> good luck with that. I won't be going here as my money isn't good enough. <laughs> I mean, it's a Lambo dealership, dude. Come on. Wasn't there. Must have been my cheating husband. Creepy hotel at the end of the world. I found 17 people in my bed stacked like Jenga pieces. I took out one of them and it fell over. Amazing experience. Someone was in my bed. I kind of want to go here now. The savory crepes were simply delicious. However, the sweet ones weren't that good. It seemed that the toppings weren't natural. Homemade and we didn't like them. We expected real chocolate, real caramel, etc. However, the waiters were really kind. To sum it up, if you eat there, choose the salty ones. They won't deceive you. What the hell is that? That looks gross. Uh, listen, I think that on all the comments since the opening of the restaurant, this is the first time that someone has criticized our chocolate and homemade salted butter caramel. You must be used to less artisanal taste. Sorry for you. Oh, they probably just eat like garbage caramel. Yeah, normal caramel doesn't taste like the stuff in candy bars. A bus stop in Montreal. Korean Montreal, non-Asian prisoners surrounded by Asian militants in surgical disguises falsifying civilian traffic 999 emergency. Oh my god, they are crazy over there. Has gotten a little pricey due to Joe Biden horrible economy, but the food is still worth the money for sure. Is there like a one for presidential prices on a review? Cut!
cockroach in my taco. I ordered a beef taco and halfway through my second taco, I saw a cockroach in my taco. The cockroach was cooked and mixed into the taco. The food itself was flavorless and low quality. The taco was mostly beans, corn, onions, and peppers, plus a cockroach, which had some nice protein. I love Shake Shack, someone to take her. Yeah, very helpful. Thank you so much. The L. Ron Hubbard House Museum. Man, this is the weirdest motel I've ever stayed at. I mean, I was walking around looking for some decent hooks, some tinsel and lingerie, and some guy, he says, come check out our motel. We got charred sheet. I'm a meat merchant, haha, so I says, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. About 68 hours later, I understood the meaning of it all. I mean, all of it. From how to win in traffic to beating the tax man, the free bottle service in Vegas, and how to make par. And look at me now. I went in a lonely looking outer and came out a vicious warlord. Can't recommend high enough. I'm imagining a massive burrito full of only black beans with a side of even more black beans. Terrible experience. Never going back. Took forever for the waiter to get to us. We ordered two of the El Gato. Is that Gato? I think it's Gato. Steak burritos for $16.50 a piece. When they came, the waiter informed us that the kitchen had run out of rice, so instead of beans and rice, they did us a favor and gave us a double portion of beans. This means our plates were full of beans. This also meant that our burritos were giant. Bean burritos with a little bit of steak after complaining the manager knocked off a whole five bucks. Ridiculous. I took a picture of my plate afterwards. Just wish I could post it to prove my point. Hmm. Yep. That, uh... That looks pretty nasty, I'm not gonna lie. On Friday, 12th May 2023, I went with my friend to watch the movie Air, only to find it was already showing on Amazon Prime, so I could have watched it for free at home. Why did the cinema even have it available when it technically should not have been showing it? First time this happened to me, surely cinema should have this- No, dude, it's limited theatrical release. It was like an Oscar bait movie and all that stuff. I haven't seen it, but you know what? It's- it, that hair is alright. I don't know. To start off, the engineer was 30 minutes late. They charge $100 an hour to deal with attitude and lateness in the morning. The engineer was lazy, didn't want to complete the edits as needed. Hello, Patrick. You directed Gabriel to sit down and do your job, at which point he kicked you out. As you left, you told us, I will ruin you. I guess complaining on Google was the extent of your plan. Her name is Vaja, or Vija, babe? Oh, maybe that's her singing name? I don't know. So, when I came to Mill Creek Golf Club, I thought it was Milk Creek Golf Club. I expected a land of dairy and a creek of milk, as I am a true dairy connoisseur. I could not wait to go to the place with dairy from my dreams, just to see old white supremacists yelling at each other over a ball. I cannot believe how foolish you all were for spelling your th name so similar to a favorite drink. I hate you all. E a dance one. Hey, he had it together and sounded professional in the beginning and then at the end he just starts like slamming the keyboard. In and out burger. Five out of five. It was exorcismic. 